everyone, welcome back to the channel for day number 22 of the lambing vlogs. So we start the day with feeding the ewe lambs who have freshly come in, as some of these are not too far away now from lambing. They're due to start in two days, so it's Tuesday, hopefully Thursday, there might be a couple of lambs on the floor. Now it's quite evident as a couple are just starting to bag up, like this girl, and there's another one or two there. Really excited to see some of these roof sand crosses. There's 22 of these to go through. So yeah, we are back to use now as we need to try and get some lambs out today as we didn't get them out yesterday. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, check the merch store out. Really appreciate all those people that have bought stuff this week. It's blowing my mind. I hope you enjoy the video. Spot the bagging up ones. Spot the bagging up ones. They won't be long now. Oh yeah, just to point out, the ones with red spots on the back, they're barren, so they shouldn't be bagging up. That is all the lambs that are gonna go out all tagged. Now, what we do is just put them onto our system. And what we are using this year is an app called Flockwatch. It's really simple. This is called an EID reader. And if you can see on all the lambs, they have a yellow tag. You should be able to see even on the U here, a yellow tag while there is. That has a microchip in it, just like your dog and cat would have at home. So let's just scan it. This Bluetooth onto my phone and it goes onto the system. It's so simple and it's a great way to keep track of performance, medicine usage, all sorts of stuff. Anything you want to keep a note of, of each individual sheep, you can. That is them um, all into the system too. Still no lambs, but yeah. We're going to load all them, take them out into the field now as this afternoon is meant to be a bit nicer than yesterday and this morning. And there's also a few of the ones we kept in for a while going out. Four ewes and lambs going out that have been kept in for a while. So really, really happy about that. You ready for some grass? Go on then, girls. Go on, girls. Time to come. Right, so that is all the ewes let out. We have a few success stories. So we got 68 over there. The one with the big nipple, she is out with her lamb. We have 92 here, who was a bit short of milk, but she is out now. We also have 641, AKA 146. Shout out to James there. His dad will find that funny. But also 149, chocolate milk you, she has come out. And then we got five that are just normally used at lambda a couple of days ago. So great load out. These are obviously in the field before the use. Now I'm gonna head over to the use and see if that lamb with about a pneumonia is all right or improving, I should say. Fingers crossed, all is okay. Nice set twins. We found him. He's looking a lot better. I don't know how well you can see that. But he is just there, he is not panting anymore. I don't really want to run him around much, but obviously he's lost a little bit of condition, but I'm happy that um, the pneumonia is definitely not as bad as it was. I can just tell he's not like panting. He looks fairly chill. Looks a tad frail, but could be a lot worse. Like it could be dead to be fair, but um, positive signs. Very positive signs. When you have soil like that, it takes them quite a lot to get over it. But now we're going over to the river bank as I can see a ewe all by herself. I don't know how well I can see. Probably about 50 yards away from anything else, right by the river. You can also see something white the other side of the river. Please, no. Right, this doesn't look amazing. She's got a bit of gunk coming out the back end. But what I have noticed, I have no idea how I'm gonna get there there is a lamb the other side of the river. Man, how's that got there? How's it got over the River Trent? Right, 
uh, I'm gonna have to go over. Obviously, that you over there with the gunk coming out the backside, I am gonna go back and sort that. She isn't incredible. I know I said she was all right, but she'll be all right for now compared to getting this lamb. I know you can walk over down there, but around here, I have no idea. Right, I'm gonna be wet. Oh. Oh. The water's in my wellies. The water's in my wellies. Oh, all this for all that. That's too cold. That's too cold. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. It looks shallow. Oh. Now I've got a tent to get over here. No idea how I'm going to get back. Oh no. I didn't realise it was that. Oh. This line best be grateful. Now through the jungle. Oh yes, I mean, it's okay. How have you got here? I'm here to save you. Boy, you're a lucky, lucky guy. Come here, Lammy. How on earth have you got over the river, Trent? Oh. You're not even wet. <sighs> Who'd have thought it? Little man, you about killed me off. Oh, we're back to the field. I'm even more wet because I fell in the stream. But we have a live lamb and hopefully your mum will take you. I do wonder how long you've been over there because you're fairly empty but you're lively enough. a happy ending don't we well in farming happy endings don't happen the mom doesn't like it it's coming back home as a cage you see it's the lamb with the bandaged up leg you're looking all right mate definitely walking better we're just gonna take the lamb back pop it with a cage get it fed and then we're gonna go back and sort that you that had the little bit of mucus, well, didn't look like mucus, didn't look very good to come out the backside. I could have sorted it, but it looked like it may have had a bad quarter, so I'm gonna go and get a tube two to treat that. We're just passing the ewe lamb. If I quickly check these, make sure that they're all in the field and all okay. Looking good, girls. Gonna pop him in the cape pen, give him a feed, and yeah, we're gonna be mucking out this afternoon, I reckon. Mastitis. I'm gonna bring her home, it's gonna be way easier to treat in a pen. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't film that. I know to put the camera up. That's a you in the back of the truck. They're definitely not empty, but we need to sort that bag out. <laughs> well, I guess that means it's time to clear out some pens. Well, that is a lot of the pens mucked out. So we've got, what, 10, 11 free pens now. I've got four more to do, but I'll do them tomorrow with that lamb getting over the river and all that. It's taken a lot of the day up, so we're not gonna bother them because we have so many free pens and plenty of time. But as you probably just saw mid mucking out, one of the used lambs herself, so she had the second one that we saw earlier. So that is her over there. But as happens with sheep, they come in waves and we've had another set of lovely twins with them too. So they are there, I don't know how well you can see them. But two other blacks, two twins, which takes the twins and triplets down to 12 and a grand total of 26 left. So really chuffed about that. 
It's mad. Wait 36 hours, nothing lambs and two at the same time. It doesn't look like much of a bag on her yet. Maybe slightly. <laughs> Why didn't I think of putting a hurdle there earlier? It's made all the difference. It's been like three years. Just putting a hurdle there to shut behind them. Spot on. Okay. <laughs> Smashed it. That's both those twins in there. Looking really nice. Best check the milk. Good. It seems to be the evening of the Abba Black Twins. So we've had another cracking pe pair of Abba Black Twins, all, I was gonna say carved, lambed by herself. Just gonna obviously pen them up, as I keep saying. Just have a walk over, make sure all is okay. You've done a good job, mummy, haven't you? Super. Right, now onto the ewe that we got in earlier in the car. She's looking a bit under the weather, if I'm not gonna lie. Just look at here, her ears are down. If a ewe's ears are down, it's usually a sign that they're not very well. So we've got some Metacam to take the swelling down, as well as pen strep, as it, there's obviously an infection in there too. When I actually saw her in the field, there was some not very nice stuff like that, still coming out of her vagina, which obviously should have stopped when she had the lambs, so these lambs are probably four or five days old now, but she's still passing stuff, so yeah, we need to make sure that she's all right. That is that you all stripped out. Thankfully, the milk isn't lumpy, it's not bloody, so hopefully we've caught it early enough. She's had metacan and pen strep, as I've said before. So fingers crossed in a couple of days, that should come good. We've taken some pressure off through stripping it off, so yeah, that's all we can do. And that is just done for today, guys. So I'd just like to say a massive thank you for watching. I really appreciate everyone for tuning in today. It's been very, very different, but it's been fun. I don't know if fun's the right word, but yeah, you know what I mean? If you did like it, guys, please tap that like button. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. And most of all, check the merch out. And I'll see you next time.